the movie star bitch. Yeah. I never thought that bitch was real. Always thought Mary Ann was hot. I never watched Gil's Gun. I didn't have it all. shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness as the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my womb, in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelously are thy works that the, that my soul knoweth right well. Yeah, cause yeah, also we know the works of the Most High. The works of the Most High is marvelous. But to the average idiot, to the average jackass out here, they don't even consider the Most High. The Most High is not even nowhere in their thoughts. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of mindless zombies, a bunch of useless eaters. Like you said, don't even consider Isaiah 1. Yeah, they don't even consider. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously brought in the lowest parts of the earth. Bullshit. Thine eyes did not see my substance, yet being unperfected, unperfect, and in the book of my members were written, which is continuance were fashioned when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O Most High. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O Most High. Yes, so the Most High said he gonna slay the wicked. He said, surely thou shalt slay the wicked. So that's what's like. So that all these people are talking about God's all love and God is no love and there's no hate. Surely the Lord will slay the wicked. Slay means to kill, to destroy, to annihilate. You know what I'm saying? To eliminate. So all these wicked fools out here, all these faggots, all these adulterous whores, you know what I'm saying? All these uh, adulterers, liars, murderers, they all get put to death. Those boots. I've seen uh, another woman got blown away earlier this week. Who's that? Out west, bitch got blown the fuck away. They still didn't catch the killer. That's good they didn't catch the killer. Mm -hmm. Another one got shot in the middle. That was an angel of death. A, spe right. a spirit of vengeance. That's what that was, a spirit of vengeance. The Lord got spirits of vengeance out here just ready to fuck you up. If you ain't right, you're going to get fucked up. The Lord going to send a wild spirit on you. 
You know what I'm saying? A wild ass crackhead. He might have somebody high on bath salts chew your face off. You know what I'm saying? I seen there was a story in the news about somebody got eat, uh, attacked by some wild dogs. Remember we was talking, we always throwing up curses. Right after we made a video about the wild beast devouring people, that same week, was it you that sent me the link? Or somebody sent me a link. It was showing how some bitch and their children got attacked. Oh, you see me now the link about the bees. About the bees attacked the bitch. This bitch was just, you know what I'm saying? She thought she's having a normal day. She gets attacked by a swarm of bees. You know she, you know she just, just posted up that same day, loving life. Yeah, loving life. You know, not a care in the world. And the most high sent a swarm of bees on that hoe. Stung the hell out of that bitch. And then some, then the bees killed the children, didn't they? I don't know if the kids had killed. Oh. I know she did. Oh, she got no, killed. No, I know the kids is dead. Yeah, the kids died. Right, right, right. And she probably took off running for it and left the children to fend for themselves. <laughs> but that's how, that's how an adulterous woman would do it. When the danger comes, you know, there's a fire in the house, she'll jump out the window and let the children burn to death. Independent fools. There's no, yeah, independent hoe. What's she independent from? She getting child support. She can't live without an EBT card. How's that being independent? You can't even eat. You'll starve to death without the government giving you an EBT. That's not independent. You you dependent. You know what I'm saying? Your girl down there jamming at you. You can't get that around camera, can you? That's that shitty ass zoom on there. The girl down there jamming. That's Cindy Lopper's uh, crackhead sister. That's her daughter. Yeah. Oh, that's her daughter. <laughs> Cindy Lopper. What's, What's up? up? What's up? What's up? Cause you know Cindy Lopper's an Israelite. Yeah, that crazy ass bitch. She really does cute. Yeah. That's weird as fuck. That came out weird when I, Yeah. She down there with her pink hair. She hanging around with Captain Lou Albano. Yeah, Captain. They said Captain Lou Albano, he was a... Uh, they said he... She, I heard Cindy Lopper say they, she was close to him. And she said that he was a very religious man. He was, Well, he was a Catholic, so-called Catholic. But that's the spirit of an Israelite, though. You know what I'm saying? Deep into the... They believe in the Lord, into the Bible and shit. Even if you're a Catholic. Because a lot of them Catholics... I mean, they believe in the Bible. They just been led astray by the Catholic Church. You know what I mean? What's that? This guy, I swear to God, just got a whiff of fun. Oh, this shit. Whiff, a whiff of bad whiff. That's the bad death. That's, that's, that, really that's the cloud of death. It's in the air. That's amazing, man. Um, Surely that will slay the wicked, O Yahweh. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. Ye bloody men. For they speak against the wicked. That's all these people. Everybody speak against the Lord wickedly. They talking shit. I'm, I'm an atheist. Fuck your Bible. Like they your dude Polite. Didn't you say Polite sh uh, shot up the Bible with an Uzi or something? Yeah. They'll, they'll take the Bible, they'll rip it in pieces, spit on it, catch it on fire. It blasts me the most high. Blasts me the son of the most high. That's all these people out here. And then they blast me even more with their actions. Out here breaking the commandments, eating swine's flesh. They'll call, they'll call themselves uh, celebrating the Lord's birthday on December 25th. And that's not even in the Bible. Christmas is not in the Bible. They ain't got nothing to do with the Bible. People who claim to be Christians, they celebrating Christmas eating a fucking honey-baked ham. You know what I'm saying? Eating swine's flesh. Just wicked as hell, man. See, uh, they had their Passover at the fairgrounds. <laughs> The fairgrounds. The fairgrounds. It was that big. It was that big. Yeah. They must have had people from out of state. Probably. The Peraza, he's in his own world. You know, he's doing his thing. I'm just gonna stay away from him. He just ain't doing the right thing. Right. And he seems sincere with what he's doing, but you know, last time I seen him, he was, he was cool to me. He gave me a ride. You know what I mean? Hey, hold this. I'm gonna run man. over here. All right. I was on their Facebook page, man. Them niggas is gone. They all about profit, man. 
Oh, so they selling fucking uh, shirts with fringes on it. And they making merchandise of this, man. Yeah, because they don't. You can make your own garment. It's better that you make your own garment. That way, you go through that process of you putting time and effort into the truth. You know what I mean? You gonna make your own shit. Yeah, they 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 sell a wide variety. Yeah, cause I, remember I was in his church. I should have said something to him when I, he gave me a ride. But I was trying to be cool with him. We was just talking about certain shit. But, uh, because I asked him that one day if Cornelius was an Israelite or not, he couldn't even answer the question. He was pretty much said he don't know. Right, right. Like, he's like, ah, whoever believes can be saved. That's what he said. You know, you're like tap dancing around the question. They, yeah, they hate that question. Is Cornelius an Israelite, yay or nay? A lot of these fools can't answer that question. No. They had tap dance all around it. Um, That's wicked, man. Um, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Yeah, so we hate the people who hate the Lord. You know, anybody that comes against us, we hate you, man. People, oh, you can't hate nobody. You gotta hate, what did they say? You gotta hate the sin, not the sinner. No, you gotta hate the sin and the sinner. You hate both of them. You curse the sin and the sinner. Um, am, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them. Yeah, we grieve. Yeah, we grievous in the spirit over these fools, man. We, uh, we travail in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We like sick to our goddamn stomachs thinking about these yeah. wicked assholes. Literally, for real. I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. And so we got enemies. We count these fools of our enemies. Anybody who comes up against the truth, they are an enemy. See, anybody out here talking about they are Muslim, they are an enemy. <laughs> So-called Jews is definitely the enemy. Uh, yeah, Esau, that's a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. But all these w wicked ass Israelites out here coming against the truth, they are enemy. We wish death upon them. Um, search me, O Yahweh, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the white, in the way of everlasting. So yeah. 40. Yeah, the way of everlasting is called on uh, the name of Yahweh Shah. Um, Psalms 40 and 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent adders. Poison is under their lips, Salah. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. That's like all Egyptologist motherfuckers talking on that shit. You know, for the past two days, I've been having an Egyptologist Come on a YouTube page, talk talking that raw shit now, Osiris. They trying to say that uh, Yahweh Shah is really Osiris. Yeah. I'm like, you know, the one they, they say the one they call Jesus is really Osiris. That doesn't make any sense. First of all, Osiris is green. He's wrapped up like a mummy. He's green, wearing a funny little hat. And then how was the story of Osiris go? Osiris was uh, killed by Seth, put in a coffin. <laughs> Sent down the river, he became part of a tree, then he got chopped up into a bunch of pieces. Then Isis, well, she went and found all of his pieces, put him back together, but she couldn't find his penis. Where the hell is that in the Bible? That ain't nowhere in the Bible. So how the hell are you gonna say Jesus, the one you call Jesus, is Osiris? You sound retarded when you say something like that. It is, it is in no way similar to the Bible. If I have fools the past few days telling me this shit on YouTube, man, and they really believe that shit. I mean, what do you say to a fool like that? You tell them to go kill themselves. They'll jump off a cliff using a pillowcase for a parachute. That's all you can do. Yeah, all these hoes wear the same, what, the tight black pants. 
Everywhere That's I real, go, not, I see the same folks. Skinny bitch with no body at all. They falling off her ass, but she still got one. Because none of these women have their own mind. They, yeah, they're stupid. Of, yeah. They all have that herd mentality. They're all part of the herd. That's why they all dress the same. All the women wear the same clothes. Look at them. They're all wearing the same black tight. Get them on camera. I heard they, this. They're all wearing the same black tight pants. Every last one of them. Every last woman you see is wearing the same exact shit. Because they have that hive mentality. They're all part of the hive. They're part of the herd. You know what I'm saying? They can't think for that. They don't have a mind of their own. They just do what they're told and what they're programmed to do. So we ain't gonna take nobody like that seriously. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? We don't respect nobody like that. Keep me, oh Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who has purpose to overthrow my goings. Oh, that's too, that's talking about the, the uh, police too. And the police are the wicked man, they are. They'll come through there and beat the shit out of you. I went in the past week. You see all these police beatings just this week alone? <laughs> the police are they going crazy beating the shit out of everybody. They flipping the script. I seen an article today. The cop beat the shit out of this woman right in front of her daughter. Mm. Uh, the other day, uh, they beat the shit out of this dude, broke his neck, broke his spine. What was that, in South Carolina? Yeah, yeah. He ended up dropping dead. Yeah. I mean, every day in the news, there's a new story about how the cops don't beat the shit out of somebody every day. But people are good with that, man. Hey, El Diablo, I know that guy. That's pretty cool. Is that your father? Stupid ass fucking asshole. He's like, El Diablo, that's pretty cool. I know that guy, he's a cool dude. I mean, they simple minded fools, man. I mean, so people like that just gonna get put to death, man. When the day the Lord comes, they just gonna get put to death. <laughs> the crowd have hid a snare from me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. Hey, they hey, have said, hey, don't the cops do that? They said they snares. You driving down a the highway, they got uh, speed traps. Right. You know what I'm saying? They just hiding it. They find the good spots too. You can't even see them. They get your ass going over that speed limit, you're fucked. How much is a speeding ticket now? Oh, man. It's ridiculous. Man, what, what was I going on? Um, That's a bookmark or something. I was, um, I was going 47 and 45 before me. My, my ticket was, uh, shit, 200 something dollars. That's some bullshit. And then what happens if you don't pay that ticket? You got a warrant for your arrest. And now they can lock you up and take you to jail over a ticket. When you just driving, you didn't hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? What happened to uh, no victim, no crime? They, they, they consider everything you do as a crime. They'll lock you up for anything, man. That's some bullshit. Because most people, they can't even afford to pay that ticket. So they automatically getting a warrant. You know what I'm saying? Automatically getting a warrant. Then you, then you get locked up again, then they give you another ticket, it's double, and now you definitely can't pay it. You get court costs, then they'll take, they'll take your license away if you can't pay your ticket. Then that hurts you even more, now you really can't make money. But it's all set up like that to keep you down, to keep you poor. That's the whole point, to keep you oppressed. To keep you oppressed. It serves its purpose. That's like that child support shit. You know that they said they'll take your license away if you don't pay child support. What is what does driving a car have to do with children? That don't even make sense. Then how the hell are you gonna pay that shit if you don't have a license? <laughs> that don't even make no sense. It's not supposed to make sense. That's funny though. Oh, that person, that's Esau too right here. Oh my. That's all Esau's in the king. Mojo's sister. They have set gins for me, Salah. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my power. Hear the voice of my supplication, O Lord. O my, O, 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 high, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. 
Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves, Salah. As for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their lip, own lips cover them. Let burning coals fall upon them. And a burning coal, that's those missiles. Those thermonuclear missiles. Shit, that, if you've been paying attention to the news, man, I, that is just in the news the past couple of days, people are saying this nuclear war is really close. I mean, every day, that's all they talk about. And nobody even pays attention to it. Right. They just they just skim over it. They don't read all. They just skim yeah, over Yeah, they're one. looking for the next update on what Beyonce's doing or... Yeah, or some bullshit. Or, 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 the, or sports. It's all about sports. That's all men care about is sports. Talking about who got drafted, who got traded. Yeah, what wrestling. What, what the Cavs are doing in the playoffs. Oh, you see LeBron? Mm -hmm. He got a triple-double. Skim right over it. Yeah, don't even. In, 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 in mention of Russia and Iran, is in every other thing. In the United yeah. States, about a, they got United States uh, ships over there trying to intercept Iran yeah. war ships Off right the Yemen now. Coast. Over there in Yemen. Mm -hmm. Iran is getting involved with Yemen. It's escalating. Yeah, it's escalating. But these fools ain't got a clue what's coming, man. Yeah, and Russia's going to get enough of them motherfuckers placing their cheap ass, raggly ass missile defenses in Poland. And yeah, in Poland and Warsaw. Mm -hmm. They're they going to get enough of that. And Russia, Ben told them a long time ago if you put missiles mm -hmm. in Poland, we're going to nuke you, motherfucker. Preemptive. They, yeah. they said that years ago. Yeah, they sure the fuck do. And then they made it into law. What was that, in December? They put in a law that their doctrine is to, uh, oh, yeah. you know, they so changed their whole doctrine. It used to be a defensive doctrine. Yeah, right, right. Now it's an offensive strike, nuclear nuclear strike first doctrine. Right, so they mean business. And then you had one in Russian, uh, the Russians saying they's going to nuke. Uh, Norway. Nuke, uh, well, no, well, them uh, too, but uh, in America. They's going to nuke oh, the San Andreas Fault, oh, yeah. and they're going to shoot missiles in, uh, well, yellow, on the Old Faithful. And uh, what's that? Yellowstone? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's a giant underground volcano. If they hit that with a nuke, it's gonna, it's gonna cause, massive yeah, destroy chain. half the country. A massive chain reaction. Yeah, massive chain reaction. Because you look at a satellite image of Yellowstone Park, that volcano, they, that's the United States. They said it's already passed due to, uh, to erupt. <laughs> yeah. Because it, will, it yeah. will take out like... Look, she got someone to carry her bag for her. It will take out all kind of states. He's just trying to get hit with the pussy piece of shit. Well, he's trying to be nice to her. He's going to take advantage of her. There's a bitch down here playing guitar. He's probably going to end up robbing she just, her. She just relocating. Yeah. Oh, shit. But you got to watch. Somebody going to end up robbing her for her guitar. You know what I mean? People are shysty, man. You can't trust nobody. But these women, they so stupid, they don't trust anybody, man. That's why you women are always get robbed, getting their wallet. Since she told us she just somebody stole her wallet. Women always getting their wallet stolen, they purse snatched. Cause they always trusting people. You know, dudes will go to a bitch's house, fuck the bitch. Then while she's sleeping, he cleaning that bitch out, man, stealing everything in the house. That's how stupid these women are. And it, it, it happens to them over and over again. They ain't got no sense. Bridge and dude over there is singing for her. She's standing <laughs> under a bridge somewhere. Probably so. She has She's on the railroad tracks. leaves all over her and shit. Yeah. Man, she seemed cooler than the rest of these hoes. Yes, right, right. Most of these hoes just disgust me, man. They're all, they all carnally minded. Go ahead. It's an uh, article on RT, whatever. It says, uh, Iran urges India, China, and Russia to counter new, uh, NATO missile system. Iran has re announced its readiness to cooperate with Russia, China, and India on the issue of NATO's missile shield and related threats from the military. The head of its defense ministry, uh, ministry for said in Moscow. Yes, yeah, so all these countries, they all coming against America and NATO. Hey, they're getting tired of NATO in America. So now they starting to form alliances. Even India said they're going to stop uh, getting weapons and shit from America and uh, the UK. Now they're going to get uh, weapons from Russia. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. You know, India got a lot of resentment built up towards uh, the UK especially. And they was part of the British Empire for a long time. So everybody's tired of America, man. They're tired of this shit. They're tired of this shit. And we tired of it too. 
We, we feel you. We right there with you. We hate this motherfucking country too. This is a nation of slaves. And they, what, what they want to say though, they, uh, they cooperate against NATO's missiles, missile defense. They need to, they need to counter it. Yeah. They need to build their own missile defense systems to counter it. Russia's already got some nice missile defense systems. Got the best on the earth. They are the best on the earth, exactly. Right, even their own S-300 is better than America's best missile defense system. The old, that old one go back to the early 70s, too. Yep. I bet that old shit's more reliable, too. Way, yep, yep. All this new uh, shit all computerized and complex computer systems, that shit's unreliable. American, they proud. That's the American technology make the most proud of shit. Yeah, right. You, before you go to launch it, this shit, your computer system crashes. That's you, you seen when that Russian, by that Russian MiG, was unarmed and went and went to a U.S. destroyer and zapped that motherfucker, man. Hit him with an EMP or yeah. something. You can't repeat the same thing. Over there in the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. yeah. you can't repeat it like he was doing a, a, an attack uh, scenario. Yeah. Kept doing it over and over. You know them motherfuckers on that shit was probably shitting themselves, man. They probably thought they was dead. Yep, yep. They probably had a sigh of relief when that motherfucker left. <laughs> right, right, right. And Russia doing flybys over everybody. Keep flying by Sweden, flying by Norway. They keep flying over the United States. Mm -hmm. Doing flybys, daring somebody to shoot them down. Damn. They flying battleships and warships straight through the English Channel, <laughs> tempting the British. Ain't nobody even doing shit about it. They know better. They know better. Because if somebody attacks one of those ships, that's it right there. That's that's a declaration of war. <laughs> and they're scared to death of that World War III. But they know that's the end of their power. It's Russia take all the nations out. Yeah. And it ain't no problem either. And they saying during the World War III scenario, they saying that U.S. can't go to, it's not going to, can't destroy all of Russia. Oh hell, they wish. They can't. What's up, sweetie? It's too fast. Oh shit. Well, at least she had some blue tight pants on, and that's black. <laughs> Look, every last one of these hoes is wearing black tight pants. Same shit. Every last one of them. Because they're mindless. They have no minds. I mean, when you really look at that, that's just, that's disgusting, man. Just a bunch of mindless, gibbering fools. We're just fucking zombies, man. This shit ain't even cute. It ain't cute at all. Yeah, I'd rather see a bitch wear a dress anyway. A long, not no short shit either. Shit gotta go past your knees, bitch. So cute, yeah. They're cute. Yeah. They can hook that shit up, man. It don't even make sense why they don't. But the brothers look like fucking hoes. You know, another bitch with tight black pants. That's all you see. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read on. Did you have something? Nah, nah, I was trying to see if you could go ahead and Alright. There's another one in tight black pants. Every last one of them. Some of these bitches be out of school and old hoes, man. Just ain't not about them. Old ass hoes. She get luck. She be, that'd be her, make her year. She get stuck. Oh, wow. That's ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a cabbage patch kid. Shit, these motherfuckers are still eat your ass out. Hey, that motherfucker is mad. They still eat your ass out. Jake is a nasty motherfucker, oh, man. God. Jake, Jake could eat the nastiest pussy. You... They don't eat pussy no more. Well, eat the ass and everything. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> don't eat ass pussy no more. They go straight. They just, straight to the ass. Straight to the asshole. These some nasty motherfuckers out there, straight man. Straight to the ass. Hey, I know this bitch on crack list, man. On tag, I mean. And she said these motherfucking men don't even check and see if she's clean, man. <laughs> they just go, they just start straight eating her ass out, man. <laughs> she said they don't even check and see if it's clean. You know, a motherfucker want to smell it first. They do the finger check and yeah, all that. They don't do none of that, man. They just go straight That's to That's the eat. first thing I do is to check. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I ain't eat nothing at all. They ain't gonna see me. I ain't looking at none of you bitches nasty pussy holes. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, you got your guy. I don't want nothing growing on my tongue and lips. Wake up the next morning, your mouth is covered in bumps and shit. They lick each other, though. <laughs> I guarantee it. Yeah, because I remember this one time I knew this dude, he got syphilis in his eye. I was like, how do you get syphilis in your eye? 
Mitch was squirting all over him. Ugh. That's nasty, man. Syphilis can blind you anyway. Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know how to. Anyway. It fucks your whole body with syphilis. That's about it. shut you down. I pray to the most high I don't ever catch that shit, man. Yeah, uh, the state of Indiana on the alert right now. Uh, AIDS epidemic. Damn. The whole fucking state. You serious? Yep. It's an AIDS epidemic. There's some new shit going around Columbus. Some um, eating food motherfuckers getting sick and dropping dead. I see it. So I was watching the news. Somebody died from uh, botulism. That's it. That's it. Botulism. Somebody died from it. Ain't yep. that one the can, from the canned food or something? That's what I read. I, I, I never knew what it was. I was trying to find out some shit. That's like something you get a dinner. I'm not sure. I remember it being taught about a long time ago. Yeah, it's from the canned foods. Kiss yeah. of botulism. Didn't they get it from like a church? Did it from yeah, a church? yeah, oh, did it? Yeah, pop up from a church. Oh shit. That's good. Then you That's uh good. yeah, you uh posted that link, didn't you by that church? Someone died at a potluck dinner at a church. That was it. And thirty some people got sick. That's beautiful, man. Cause we always curse these churches for them potluck dinners anyway. <laughs> there ain't nothing lucky about a potluck dinner. I guarantee you, over 75% of the dishes got swine up in it. Here it is, the Bible says you ain't supposed to eat pork. But you go to a, a Baptist potluck dinner, they got the ham, they got the bacon. They got bacon in the green beans. They got, yeah, bacon in the green beans. They put bacon in the macaroni and cheese, ham. Bologna up in the mac and cheese. They wrap, wrap the hot dogs and bacon. Yep, wrapping hot dogs and they put bacon on everything. Junior bacon cheeseburgers. <laughs> That's an abomination, man. What a fucking burger, man. They put bacon on donuts. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, bacon around donuts. Burger King got the ice cream shake with bacon in it. <laughs> yeah, they got an actual bacon shake. Baker flavored drinks. That's what kind crazy. of madness is that, man? That's madness. So these devils who own all these uh, stores, they know what they're doing, man. And they're all owned by a so-called Jew. Rat Jews. They don't eat that shit. Rat Jews. They feed it to us. That, that's slave food. That's what you feed your slaves. You know what I'm saying? That's straight up yeah. slave food. Jews, solution to the problem. You in the final solution? Remember that? Yeah. Oh, you don't know about the final solution? <laughs> Them Jews. It is nothing worse than a so-called Jew. I found some shit the other day, man. Somebody found some more shit on the, uh, in the town mud. How these bitches, these rat bitches be fucking their sons, man. I believe it. Yeah, they be fucking their sons. It's in their town mud as what? long as he's nine years old and older. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as he's nine years old. That sounds safe, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, these motherfuckers suck their own baby's dicks when they get circumcised. Sucking blood out of baby's penis. That's crazy, man. They just some foul people. That's fucking crazy, man. I see him every. I gotta see these back. I drive through Bexley every day. I gotta look at these devils. They are walking down the street. They look crusty as hell. Wearing their funny little uh, kippers with their little hats. They got their little dookie curls coming down. Stupid. Just be stanking. You said they're having a festival, right? Where is that? The Jewish Center. That's a Jewish Center off of um, That's on Bexley, ain't College, it? yeah. Right there, right off the Livingston College. Right? I ain't going to that motherfucker. Yeah, they have a big ass festival. They, they see us coming from a mile away. What the fuck? That was an uber fag. <laughs> that was one of the biggest faggots I've ever seen. He's like, see that he was running like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get that faggot on camera? Oh, you they gotta start getting them on camera. They all shop at the same goddamn store. You see something gay like that, man. We gotta show oh, people. Where'd you get them tights from? Those are nice. Right. <laughs> oh, man, you should've got that one on camera. Where'd them tights from? And that bitch was chilling with him, too. He's just gay as hell, man. Gay as shit, man. He ain't even running Suck. like a bitch. Suck more dick than a motherfucker. Oh, man, you should've got him on camera. He's trying to Suck shake his ass while he walks or runs. I don't even know what to say after seeing some shit like that. Hey, that's why this, this place gotta go, man. Looks like he's drinking some beer. Hey, man, I was, uh, man, I wanted to go check my mail on a computer right before we came out here. In the, fr in the front page news on motherfucking Yahoo was, uh, 
a, a, a transsexual teenager wins driver's license victory or something like that. Like this motherfucker, a goddamn transsexual, actually went to, got, I guess he got to be a female on the driver's license. Right, right, right. He's actually a, a chick with a dick. It's like, what the fuck? So the driver's license says female. So you see this shit everywhere. Like they got, uh, they got people in uh, high schools battling so they can have gender neutral bathrooms. They do got them. I seen a sign where it had like half a man and the other half was a woman. Well, all this shit in the news, and that's front page news. We got missiles about to be shot, World War III popping, war here. And all they pushing is this faggot agenda. That's the most important thing. The most important thing is a fight for the rights of a faggot. You gotta be out your mind, man. It's all these people falling for that shit. They might. He's brave. Yeah, he's brave. He's a hero. And they'll call, they'll call us bigots. You're big. You need to get with the times. Get with the times. There ain't no new thing under the sun. It wasn't cool to be a faggot 2,000 years ago, and it still ain't cool to be a faggot. They had transsexuals back in the Roman Empire. The Emperor uh, Caligula, no, 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 the Emperor Nero had a little uh, boy toy, a little faggot he used to like to fuck. And when he got older, he didn't like it once he passed puberty, because he wanted as effeminate, so he chopped his dick off. Wow. And then he kept fucking him. Mm. So this ain't nothing new. Mm. Mm. So, so that's how you know this country's on its way out. When people start taking shit to that extremes, when it's okay to be a transsexual, you know this shit's on its way out. Because soon they, they already pushing pedophilia. Soon they're going to say, well, pedophilia, I mean, as long as the child agrees, there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. We right, had that right. fat bitch tell us right. that. Right. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she said there's nothing wrong with pedophilia. Yeah, that disgusting thing. Yeah. yeah. There's a so, they, yeah, there's no kind of morality out here whatsoever. These people are gone. They just fucking gone. They, I mean, it is, it is done. That the whole liberal agenda of being a faggot. Remember how, like, the Democratic Party used to be the party of hard-working people? But now it's the party of faggots, the party of transsexuals, the party of, uh... <laughs> They don't push no hard. That's all, yeah, that's all they push. That's what it means to be a Democrat. You gotta be a faggot, and you gotta be a transsexual. People are morally deprived. Uh, and a, and a uh, yeah, a lesbian. Yeah, morally deprived. I gotta get that scripture, man, because these people are disgusting. Well, which make up the majority of the nation. That's, that's the majority. That's lesbians how we, and faggots. Ain't, ain't, ain't there ain't no other country on earth like this, man. No. And this shit, they take shit to a whole new extreme. Revelation says. You might get the horror monitor. Close. Well, this is Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Yeah, Sodom. Yeah, because America is spiritually known as Sodom. Because that's why you get an act of sodomy. A sodomite. A sodomite's a faggot. Okay, it's a homosexual, a transsexual, any of that freaky shit. That's all you see out here. It's like almost getting rare to see a, a straight person now. It's like the faggots are taking over. Mm -hmm. Now, you, oh, I've seen, uh, I was listening to Alex Jones, and there's a report that they was teaching children in elementary school about uh, transsexuals. About it's okay to be a transsexual. They they teach it. Yeah, they get you while you're young, man. Indoctrinate you while you're young. Because they get you when it's easy to uh, influence your mind. They just hit somebody. He's just getting a wreck. Oh, I thought I heard a crash. Yeah. So hit him and kept going. Yeah, because. This ain't talking about by crucifying the Lord. They're talking about by blasphemy the Lord. Well, two is talking about Israel, too. Because they crucified the Lord of Israel. Because all of our people, the Israel, two-thirds of Israel is wicked as hell. Our people are faggots, adulterers, liars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pieces of shits, man.
Go ahead. And this is Romans 1 and 18. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteous men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Wow. Because that which may be known of the Most High is manifested in them, for the Most High have shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew the Most High, they glorify him not as the Most High, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish hearts was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Yeah, these people come out here running their mouth. They think they're wise. They got some kind of great wisdom. They don't know a goddamn thing. They retarded as hell. They're stupid. You know what I mean? Just idiots. Just babbling fools. Go ahead. Um, they changed the glory of the un uncorruptible power into an image made like the corruptible man and to birds and to fall for the beasts and creeping things. Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creature? They turn the truth into a lie. That's why you got a lot of churches now. They don't actually have a homosexual preacher. It'd be bad enough if there was a woman preacher. That's an abomination. But they have actual faggot preachers. They even got transsexual preachers now. And then you got all these churches saying, well, Jesus loves homosexuals. Jesus loves, they'll say Jesus himself. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was a homosexual. They'll say that he was, uh, they say he loved John and they'll try, you know what I'm saying? And these people just need to put to death, man. That's all there is to it. I'm getting tired of hearing this bullshit these people talking. We don't want to hear nothing none of y'all got to say. Y'all a bunch of dumbasses. Every last one of these fools out here don't know shit. They're a bunch of heathens, man. They're a bunch of filthy, foul, rotten heathens. A bunch of degenerates. Oh, Isaiah 3 and 9, actually 3 and 8, for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. To show their countenance doth witness against them. They declare they sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. So yeah, these people, they hide... They, they declare they sin as Sodom. They don't even hide it. You have faggots walking down the street just just openly being a faggot. You got transvestites, tran transsexuals walking down the street. Dudes chopping their dicks off, getting breast implants, taking estrogen. It's just, I mean, what, about 20 years ago, you never seen a, a transsexual. And we get that. Oh, fuck. That's a okay. Yeah, but here, 20 years ago, you never see a transsexual. Now we see one every five minutes. You know what I mean? Every five minutes, we see one. Like we had that freak, that uh, boy George's fat cousin was out here. Was that a week or two ago? We seen that faggot two weeks in a row. It's just, just fucking freak shit. Everywhere you look, is some freak shit, man. And you went, and in America, they're protected. Now you can join the military and be an open homosexual in the military. Here it is, you living with nothing but men. It's bad enough. You gotta take a shower with all these other motherfuckers. Now you got faggots. That's crazy. That's some faggot shit by design. You know what I mean? If you join the military, you stupid anyway. Only a dumbass will join the military. Same shit they do in the prisons. Yeah, put, they put all the men together in the prisons. No, they, know that, they know that shit. That's all by design. Yeah. So now, now it's all by design. Now they let you be a faggot and join the military. All right, I seen that there's a story in the news. They, they was making, I think it was someone in the Marines or Army, I can't remember. They was making the, the soldiers wear high heels. 
They was making the soldiers wear pink high heels. Oh, yeah, yeah. They said it was for uh, women's rights or some bullshit. That's some faggot shit. Whoever did that deserves to be put to death. Just straight up just put to death. Burn him to stake. Chop his head off. Do something. Kill that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And people's good with that. That's like that shit in the NFL. Everybody in the NFL was wearing pink. That's all part of that uh, a feminization process. Turning all the men to a bunch of faggots. Because if they can uh, make all the men effeminate and girly and turn all the men into homosexuals, they'll be a bunch of faggots. They'll never fight for their rights. You'll be much easier to enslave. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we have. That's why we all in slavery out here. All these men are a bunch of faggots, a bunch of faggot weaklings, a bunch of effeminate weaklings, a bunch of limp-wristed faggots. That's what these men are, a bunch of limp-wristed, effeminate, faggot-ass gay bitches. Who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worship and serve the preacher more than the creator? Who is blessed whoever he may? For this cause, most I gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. Yeah, that's talking about women being lesbians. It ain't cool to be a lesbian, okay? People say, you can't discriminate. Yes, we can, and we gonna discriminate. Okay, the Bible says a faggot gets put to death. Okay, a lesbian gets put to death. Huh? He's all right. And likewise also the men Leaving the natural use of a woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men. Men with men. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly. That's some nasty shit. You going up beside another man's asshole. Getting dookie all over yourself. That's just nasty, man. They try to justify that. Saying, well, he didn't have a choice. You're born gay. Hey, there's no such thing. That's retarded. Only a fool would believe some shit like that. If you was born gay, how come you weren't born with a vagina? Instead of a dick. Okay? If you didn't know, the dick goes in the pussy. If you did not know. But they're called reproductive organs. You have sex with a woman, she gets pregnant. That's why you have a penis, so you can impregnate women. That seed, bro. You can't plant seeds in a man's anus. Ain't nothing gonna grow. I mean, the fuck, the fuck logic and fuck common sense. That shit goes right out the window when you're dealing with a bunch of faggots. That's foul. America's a foul, filthy nation. That's why the Lord's gonna destroy America. Bowling pin. <laughs> That's a popular thing is bowling pins yep. in the pussy. That's like a big thing on the internet is bowling pins. Or something that just don't belong there. Yes, period. it's always something, yeah. A parking cone. <laughs> oh, Lord, I went down it, bro. They probably I went down it. Right, right. Oh my, I just got a bad visual with that one. They do it. Balls and shit, they ass. Yeah, they got. It out. Yeah, they got the balls. What the anal beads? Anal beads. And they just put a hole. They, they, they men do it too. They have a woman stick anal beads in a dude's ass. I mean, I don't like talking like this, man. It's nasty. But that's just that's, that's the truth. They got sex stores on every corner. What's that? The Lions Den. You be listening to the radio. I be listening to the Blitz. And every like once an hour at least, they got an ad come on the radio for the Lions Den. I was listening, to, uh, I was riding, uh, taking my mom somewhere. We was riding down the street in the car, right? And we was listening to like a regular uh, station. I think it was like one of them uh, pop radio stations or something, right? Right. And then a goddamn commercial comes on talking about penis size and ejaculation. <laughs> talking about we can increase your ejaculation and penis size. And my mom's looking at me like, what was that? She was, was she an old lady, you know what I mean? And she was like, what would you do if your children was in the car? 
See, they want your children to hear this type of shit. That's why it's on the radio. This ain't adult radio. This is like radio that's supposed to be for everybody. Hey, family oriented. You know what I mean? Some sunny 95. Yeah, I think it was something like that. It, I forget what state. It was one of the mainstream stations. That's crazy. And they was talking about ejaculation and sperm and a penis size and getting hard. Like, what the fuck? It ain't late at night. It was like around noon. So they, they constantly put that vibration on the people. And every, everything people's talking about is sex, being a freak, being adultery, being a faggot. And they, they accept it. And if, you, and if you don't accept it, that means, uh, what the fuck is that? I hear some heathen music. You hear that heathen shit? I, 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 I. We need to turn that shit up. Sound like Allah was singing. <laughs> Yeah, that's all you see on TV, sex and drugs. There's so, always a new drug coming out for something. And then these people worship the cops. Here's the cops are your number one of the top oppressors. Well, they're the goons. They're just goons. They work for the oppressor. You know what I mean? But these people, here it is. The cops don't do nothing but cause people uh, misery and harm. And they taking all your money, beating the shit out of you, beating up your sons and daughters. And, Shooting people, killing people, killing your dogs. But people will spend their whole day watching all these cop shows. Watching a Law and Order and CSI. What's the other shit they be watching? that shit with us? Cops. First 48. First 48. And they're worshiping this shit, man. You never kiss me watching I, I can't shit. watch it. It makes me sick to my goddamn stomach watching that shit. And they show you how shysty they are on the shows. That just ma that just makes me put even more curses on the cops and wish more death upon the police, man. And if you are a cop, man, you deserve to get put to death. If you're a traitor, man. You're a traitor to your own people and to the Most High. Because you're working for a satanic system. It's like your boy, Nathaniel Seven. He's a cop, right? A detective. And that's why it's no surprise he made a video uh, an hour-long video saying that the mark of the beast is not the microchip. That a bit of, sense. of course he would say he's a fucking cop. He works for the devil. He's an agent, literally. You seen that video? I didn't watch the video. I watched uh, Elder Tahar's response. I can't sit through a whole hour of that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? I'll sit through, I'll skip it through. Yeah, it's skipping through. I can't take a whole hour of that shit. Yeah, I only got so much time in a day to watch uh, videos. So I gotta make my, I got choice videos I watch. I'm trying to watch some good shit, not no bullshit. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge. Yeah, and none of these people got the most high in their knowledge. What kind of knowledge do these fools have? The only kind of knowledge they got, they know all about celebrities. They know which actress was in what movie. They know, they can tell you the name of every director of every movie. If you were a party or something, and if you know the names of all the directors, you're like, you're really smart. Mm. I check, he's, he's a really smart guy. Mm. You know what I mean? Or if their knowledge is all about sports. You know what I'm saying? They know the names of every quarterback, every running back. That ain't fucking knowledge, man. That's a jackasseries. Uh, keep going. Uh, um, even as they did not retain, like, like to retain the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind. Yeah, to be a faggot is being a reprobate. Okay, obviously. Being, committing adultery, but this is specifically talking about being a faggot. You a fucking reprobate, man. You gone. Mm. That, that means you just, you just told your whole spirit is fucked up, man. You ain't fucking right. All right, keep going. To do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate. Deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, 
Hey. Haters of the Most High. That's, that, that describes all these fools. They hate the Most High. Despiteful, proud. Proud, they all got that proud look on them. Watch all these hoes walking down the street. They just proud as hell. They just know for sure that, you know what I'm saying, that they gonna be going to college. They know for sure they gonna get that degree. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got they, your future locked up, huh? Yeah, they think their little comfortable little life is going to last forever. <laughs> they just going to be in comfort for the rest of their life. Right. Y'all y'all in for a rude awakening. And you got nothing but death, hell, and misery coming, man. The fucking evil days are coming. Evil. Evil. And we've been saying it for the people. Like, you've been saying that for years. Yep. Oh, okay. Them years is coming to we, an end. Yeah, huh? we, yeah. <laughs> That means you have plenty of time to get ready. <laughs> right, right. So, oh, this is my homie. This home, remember him? What's up? Uh, I remember you, Michael, right? Ain't your name Michael? What is it? Ain't your name Michael? Uh, Michael, yeah. Right, I you, remember you. We talked to you before. What is it? You don't remember us? No. You no? Eat, you're Ethiopian, ain't you? I'm Ethiopian. You from Ethiopia? I, we talked to you before. Okay. In about an hour. Yeah, for like an hour. We got it on video. All right, All right brother. <laughs> Okie dokie. He was giving us us some visions. He gave us a vision. A missile's going off or some shit. Yeah, he told he had a... Maybe... Oh, that's weird, but he didn't want to talk to us. <laughs> he didn't even remember you. Maybe, maybe he was just in the spirit that day. See now. Yeah, maybe he's going to see now. Who knows? Right. I remember for some I just remember his name Michael. I can't I, remember I, too. I can't forget him. Yeah. That's sometimes I forget most people's names, but he sticks in my head. I just remember the nuclear missile. Yeah, he gave us that, that vision. Off, yeah. He was in the spirit too. He realized what he was saying. Nope. <laughs> um maybe he didn't have his meds or something. He was not today. That's a big Chinese girl right there. I think Chinese girl. Yeah, that's 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 like, oh yes, yeah, she is. That's a thick. Someone busted all over her forehead. <laughs> Thanks to that. Shit, I'll be hanging out with some Koreans in a couple months. Remember the Koreans I told you about? I got. They put me in charge of them this year. I'm gonna have. I have me a whole, a whole gang of them for a week straight. Damn. And there's a fine ass Korean women, boy. And they got a lot more sense than these hoes in America. I'd rather have me a Korean. A Japanese or a Chinese woman over any of these hoes out here. Proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding. Yeah, yeah, these fools definitely have no understanding. Bunch of retards, man. We were surrounded by retards. Evil retards. Yeah, fuck yeah, evil. They're fucking retarded. Go ahead. These some real evil people. Man. They're really, covenant breakers. They they look they look nice on the outside. Mm -hmm. they, but they really yeah they evil. Like, like that Marilyn Manson song, the beautiful the people. Oh yeah, like that yeah, the Marilyn Manson song, beautiful people. Even though he's a fucking devil worshiper. <laughs> but he had a point on that song. And the beautiful people. He, even even he worshiped the devil, and he hates this, these people. They all look beautiful and shit. Everybody looks beautiful, but they're on the, they look beautiful on the outside. Oh, that's just like the Lord. I'm gonna get that in uh, Matthew 23. This is talking about the scribes and Pharisees, but this applies to all these fools, man. The scriptures are multi, uh, Yeah. They multi multifaceted. Multi-layered. If there's one scripture, you can break down three different ways, you know what I'm saying? The hidden meanings upon meetings. Look, Matthew 23 and 25. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! 
For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. To a T, ain't it? Yep. Roger to a T. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter. Oh, what's up, homie? So let me finish this up real quick. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which is a grave. You're like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, Ooh, and of bad. all uncleanliness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Same motherfucker walk up to you. What's up, brother? I love you, man. Love you, man. Yep. You better watch that motherfucker. Well, we can read all that, but that's the yeah. point. You know what I mean? But we were, because right before you came up, we was talking about how beautiful everybody looks. All these women, they look beautiful. All the men, everybody dressing nice. And they look beautiful on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, yeah, they spirit, <laughs> ugly as fuck. As soon as they open their mouth, you know? You got them figured out right there, next that wolf and sheep's clothes. Yeah, I'm sure the fuck is. There's only 20 minutes left on here. Uh, I'm gonna get my back up, Freddy. Right, right, right. Vulture. Predator. <laughs> Leech. Alligator. It's like that. You know, reptile. Reptile. Yeah, reptilians. <laughs> they're, we, they're reptilians, bro. They just believe in that shit or not. We all did. Well, I'm talking about we all did, man. metaphorical reptilians. We all did, man. This is B out here. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? We all did, man. That was just showing that we was looking for something. Yeah. It's well, yeah, like everybody that's into conspiracy You're looking for truth. Of course. They're looking it all for starts truth. with conspiracy. Yep. You know yep. Everybody's looking for something. Well, I was into ufology. I didn't necessarily believe in reptilians. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I mean, I knew there was some weird shit, but I didn't yeah. know. The Anunnaki. They never really showed the reptilian proof. Plus, well, how to easily fool people with it is, they say you look at the, the look at their deeds and see yeah. that they do evil shit. Like, then they use a lot of politicians, the, you know, Bushes, them big time. Yeah, yeah. Shit, some some the, Bushes, the Queen of England, Queen of England. You know, <laughs> they use the people that's in power. Well, that's right thing. You don't almost believe a reptilian is looking at that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that bitch is scary. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't want to be in no room with that hoe. Hell no. Right, right, you see right. the dude was the escape, escaped out of Buckingham Palace? <laughs> you seen that? He was naked. They got it on video. This dude was dangling from that. Uh, you that seen him? Yeah. He made a rope out of sheet. Uh, a he rope out of sheet. He escaped out the palace naked. He was he was trying to he was fleeing for his life. He was getting raped. Right. Yeah. Something's happening to him. Yeah, that's that movie shit. The news ain't gonna, they ain't gonna put it in the news. Ain't it seem like movie shit? Yeah, it did. Yeah, that's Tying what it ropes, is. Tying sheets yeah, that's together. something I'm like, hey, yeah. The world right, is right. a theater. Right. It's a stage. The world's a theater. Well, you know what theos means? Yeah. Theater. Theos right. means God. Right. It's a world theater, man. And it's people with sense got sense enough to sit back and watch it. Right. And not partake in it. Sit back, man, just watch that crazy yeah, it's shit. it's a good movie. Hell yeah, it's a real good movie. Real good movie. <laughs> Like yeah. we was talking about Russian, uh, Definite graphics. Iran coming together, China and all them. That's some bad shit to watch, man. Why would you want to watch some anything else? You gonna watch some romantic comedies? You know what? And that's popular. That's I can't. Popular I can't. Shit. That's just torture. That's popular shit too. Bro. That's fucking torture. I'll take claim of that one too, bro. I'll keep our eye on my. You gonna watch some broke back mountain with your girl? She got a body. Man. She good too. Oh my. Oh, yes, I do know. She my girl's over there playing guitar. She's still yeah. all kinds of people give her money. I should have threw her some money. But yeah, she's going to get money. I felt bad for her. Good, oh well. I ain't don't got pay hoes, anymore. hoes pay me. That's how it should be. Right. Yeah, don't pay a hoe, have a hoe pay you. Yeah. Have a bitch buy you shoes. This is their shoes. world. This is their fucking world. kingdom. You get a girl to buy you some shoes, man. Let her buy you some shoes. Yeah, right. Shit. Don't even question. 
feed me, fuck me, suck me. Did the women get all the good jobs? Got it all. That's why the scripture on Isaiah 3 said a woman is going to rule over you. But then this is their world. Because James Brown was lying when he said this is a man's world. The women are able to do a lot of shit. I heard on the news there was three women that, that got processed to be a army ranger now. So oh, they, they keep crazy. failing though. But they, they pushing them through. They might get uh, processed for the army ranger. But I know in the Marine Corps training, the women keep failing all the infantry training. <laughs> Ain't no woman, and they making it easier. And they, they still can't. They pass still can't pass it. It's they funny. can't even do pull-ups. You can't. You can't. They can't even do pull-ups. Obviously. Most, most high didn't build women for that. Hell no. Sure did. Sure did. The Marines ain't playing that shit. I mean, they already got faggots in the Marines. So I don't I heard know. That they was forced to wear uh, some, some pink heels. Yeah. See some, that shit. Some pink heels. Yeah. That's crazy. That's some faggot they shit. They was threatened. We well, just talking about that. that Buddy, you don't know how to match, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He don't know how to match for shit, bro. I'm sick. He just looked down at his shit. Like, bro, that you trying to be like Israelites. Like, you see him, too? He was like... He, 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 was, he, was, looking, he was checking his shit out. Right, right, right. What motherfucker had a San Francisco 49ers hat with the New York Giants jersey yeah, and shit? Yeah, yeah. I saw this the other day. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Like, yeah. Pittsburgh still his shirt. <laughs> San Francisco yeah. shit. Dallas. <laughs> it's all baseball no, shit. But they get some old ass shit from the thrift store, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They been wearing some That's old... That's some funny shit. Though. Right, right. They wear an old 1992 Knicks playoff <laughs> or some shit. You know, it wasn't even a championship, it was just a playoff. 2002 <laughs> Pistons. Yeah, they're going way back. <laughs> That's a hand mic, bro, all day. Oh, shit. And it should be tight, too, to warn them tight ass. I see ass a shirt. lot of them motherfuckers at my job, man. Pitch match like a murder. That's how they are, man. Like, damn. They and, they, and then they were like, man, you, you hear that Waka Flocka? I'm like, man. <laughs> <laughs> Waka Flocka? Yeah. Uh, throw some oh, Israelite shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't, like, you they ain't can't one of us. coordinate. They can't do it, man. Bro, this, he was trying to, uh, this one hand I was trying to convince me that African Americans and Africans are like brothers. Sheep. I'm like, bro, I can throw it down the script. I ain't never heard him say you. that before. Oh, I bro. I heard him say it to me before. I asked, yeah. I asked an African, bro. Like, no, you most, my brother, man. Most of them are like, close. look down on you. Yeah. Bro, you have, you have art articles that says even Ghana and Senegal even apologize for even, uh, for being a part of the slave trade. Well, well actually, most of them, a lot of them in Ghana is Israelite. All of West Africa apologize. Most of them West Africans is Israelites, though. A lot of them. But them Ghana, you see them Ghana women, them bitches be bad, bad boy. Fuck, be thick and juicy. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I showed you a picture of Sean. Did you hear uh, the boy's sister? Uh, one of the most bad. baddest women I ever saw in my life came here to visit her. My neighbor, he was from Ghana, he was an Israelite though. And uh, she came here from Europe. One of the most baddest women I've ever seen in my whole life, man. She was just flawless. Ghana bitch, man. What? Yeah, she was flawless. You ain't her, and she had real hair. Yeah, they you know what I'm saying. Hair she had there. real long hair, with no extension, no braids, no nothing. And she was dark as fuck. Body was just flawless. Woo! They bad. They so just be thick. Yeah. Some lights over there. I'm been wanting to give me a Ghana bitch. <laughs> hey, back in I were uh, back in the uh, back in the hundreds of years ago in Europe. They used to be, uh, they used to tell stories about Timbuktu. You know Timbuktu? Timbuktu, uh, ain't that in Africa? Yeah, it's up in a cut, up in a... That's where the richest man in the world is from that region. What's his name? You got Google out here? Yeah. What's your boy's name? I, I should know, I was just reading this. I should know his name. Just Google the richest man ever. Or I can do it for you. Ever in history? Yeah, there's a black dude in Africa. He's an Israelite. Man, he was calling himself a moor. He was confused. <laughs> what is it? The Kingdom of Mali? You know Mali? Is that what it's called, Ann? The Kingdom of Mali, I believe. King uh... Let me look it up. I, I know find... what you're talking about, okay. too. I know exactly what you're talking about. Look, there goes a Chinese guy wearing a Tennessee Titans hat. He don't even know where Tennessee's at. That in the bandana uh, uh, hoodie. <laughs> With some black and orange shoes. Right. Yeah, black, white, orange, green. 
What's up with the new hot thing? Is everybody got fluorescent shoes now? You can see the shoes. Flu fluorescent. Words, fluorescent, like bright. Like that bitch right bright there. yellow, bright oh, neon neon color. Yeah, neon type shit. I have no idea, bro. That's like the new style now. Some more bright ass shit. I didn't see no Israelites wearing that shit. I never seen no Israelites wearing that shit. So yeah, oh, Jake wears that shit all the time. I haven't seen no Jake's wear. I know they wear shirts. You find that shit? Let me see. You already got it? Yeah, get this on camera. Try to pick that up. That's the richest man ever. Was uh, King Musa? What's his name? Was history's richest person black? And his name was uh, Meet Mansa Musa. That he was the king of the Mali Kingdom. And that's what Timbuktu was part of that Mali Kingdom. But that's just a little history for your ass. And you see what's what's he holding in his hand? He got the the scepter and the spear, just like the kings of England had used to hold. We're still you're still here at OSU? I am. You're still here with your freshman? I'm a freshman. You're a freshman? Do you decide your major yet? I'm undecided. You, so, you know ain't no um you know there's no more work in the world, right? Mm -hmm. There's no more work in the world. And this has been going on for like the last 15 years at a maximum, really, like you get a degree in something, more than likely, it's a 90% chance. You ain't gonna go to work in that same field you got your degree in. That's why they call it the educational bubble. Right. It's popping. It's collapsing in on itself. It's all the it's all the this university is set up just this is getting. They take all your money. That's, that's leave, it. Leaving you with the debt. They're not really teaching you nothing to make you go out and create your own business. Because that's how you really live. You, you create your own. You don't go teach somebody to, you you have to you have to build up a debt just to get a job. You know? And you work you graduate, your debt is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100,000. Yeah. And now the funny thing is, once you graduate with this debt, you can't get no work. You know? And most of that stuff you can just learn on the internet now for free. All of it. Yeah, all, you know, of, all of it. Yep. You know, you, you, come out, you gotta think like a house. Your boy, hey, your boy Bill Gates, he dropped out of college. He's right. like, he's like, why well, I wanna go to college? I don't need no college. <laughs> and he, he's a devil. Where you from? Originally, I'm from Kentucky. Oh, wow. Country oh, girl. Country girl. <laughs> That's good, though. I've only been here for two years. So, but I'm that Kentucky bourbon. Kentucky. I love Kentucky. Ooh, wee. That's down there, boy. You live, did you live in a major city, a big city? Um, I'm Cincinnati area. I'm from Kentucky. Oh, okay. Kentucky, You're right there. So Cincinnati. Right, right, right. But, um, Close to the bridge, huh? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, man. I like that area. I mean, I love that area. That's dude. where our family's from. It's off the chain. But now, it's Cold Grove. Mm -hmm. I like going down there just to kick it. Right, right, right. It's yeah. way better than here, man. Yeah. Cincinnati? Oh, yeah, yeah. Columbus ain't nothing compared to Cincinnati. Black folks in Cincinnati right. seem to have a more... I mean, it's lacking everywhere, but there's more brotherhood in Cincinnati for some reason. Bro. Brothers down there, what's up, man? You know? Columbus is some, just some gangster shit. Yeah, Columbus on some, something else. Yeah. It's all politically motivated, though. All this goes on from city to city, it's all political. So, Democrats run this, Republicans run that, and they run this, they all do this shit their own way. It's all, you know, all of us wicked as hell. Ain't no good coming out of this game. Yeah, but I don't blame you for doing this, but I don't do it nothing. Get them grants, money you ain't got pay back. Right. Why you keep your call with it, you know? As long as you keep them grants up though. All right, you too. Yeah, because this college is for the women anyway. Just the women, right, exactly. You don't see a whole lot of Israelite men going to college. You know what I mean? They, be, oh, they do, they come up to campus and get pussy and a party and get drugs. And every Jake knows Ohio State's where all the action's at. All the parties is up here. You know what I mean? That's a hell of a bro. I'm gonna follow this girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this right here. A bitch driving a vet. She gonna wreck it. She got her dog got hanging out the window. The kingdom coming to an end, bitch. Yeah, that bitch, she gonna get that whole camera. That's a 
sixty, seventy thousand dollar car. Driving the old rich ass eating white bitch driving. Yeah, that's a bad ass car. We ain't gonna get no shit like that. When we get it, it's when chaos is gonna be breaking down. We just have to walk by the car a lot. Let me go get one of them. Be like on Walking Dead. You watch Walking Dead? <laughs> they, they, they empty cars everywhere. You can get whatever you want on that day. Right, right. If, if it works, if the EMP didn't destroy it by then. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So you want to four ass car, but we just sit. So you have to get one of them old ass stingrays. Get a Nova in Super day. Sport. Yeah, you know I man. Oh, uh, bad too. Yeah, shit. I'm gonna give you an idea. Like your boy Blade driving that. What did Blade drive? A '68 Camaro, I believe. Yeah, yeah. That's a bad ass fucking shit. You have to get an old muscle car on that day. When that, when those EMP, when Russia hits with America with some nukes or, or an EMP, none of these new cars are even gonna start. They're gonna no. really. Your computer ain't gonna work. None of them cute cars. The whole electrical grid will be down. <laughs> and so you, the only vehicles that's gonna be running is some old, the old, the muscle cars. Is there a Star Wars convention in town? Star Wars? Star Wars convention. Uh, comes with Jedi. Oh, uh, that's a fucking uh, Alibaba. And the fucking, what's that Alibaba in this? 70, what's that? How many, many thieves? Knock, knock, How many knock. thieves was it? Alibaba. Alibaba and the, the seven thieves. The seven thieves? There's 17, some shit. Some shit, you know that, that old bullshit, yeah. Alibaba. Beastie Boys had that yeah, song, that's how, Alibaba. That's what I learned about it. it was 40 the thieves. Oh yeah, the 40 thieves. And I looked it up on Oh man. There's a Star Wars convention in town. She looks scared of us. She knew we was men in the Lord. Go ahead. Sirach 20, Sirach 34 and 1. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false. Vain and false. You got no understanding. Everything you're doing is in vain. You out here uh, doing your little bullshit, talking all that bullshit you be talking. Everything you're going to do is in vain. Everything you're gonna to attempt to do is gonna fail. Okay, your whole life is gonna to turn to shit. Keep going. And dreams lift up fools. Yeah, dreams lift up fools. Yeah, you out here dreaming, talking about I'm going to college, I'm gonna be a doctor, a lawyer. How many times you don't met a woman said, uh, what were you going to college for? Criminal justice? Or what else did they be Nurse. saying? Uh, forensics or what's that bullshit? CSI. Yeah, they bitches in fantasy land. They don't sit at home watching CSI. Now they think they're going to go to college to be a forensic expert. Bitch, you, you're, you're retarded. You will never do that in your life, ever. Never. But yeah, the, the woman's quick to the one to go into law enforcement. You know what I'm saying? To join forces with the devil and with Satan. And these women are just a bunch of devils, a bunch of demons. All these women are a bunch of demons, a bunch of wicked whores. Every last one of them, 99.9% .9 of them, and that's biblical. Okay, and actually the biblical numbers are a little more, what's the word, uh, word I'm looking for? Less lenient. Yes, less, that's a good way to put it, less lenient. Because Solomon said of a thousand men, he could only find one righteous out of those thousand, not a single woman. So, so a thousand, that, that's going 0 0.00%, 0 0.009, something like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're not even worried about women. We're going to curse them out, you know, okay, because that's our job. We're going to... I mean, if we find a cool bitch, we'll be cool with her. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna treat her like shit. We'll be cool with her. We was kicking it with your girl over there earlier on the way up here, uh, Cindy Lopper's daughter. <laughs> and she was cool, you know what I mean? She was wild and crazy as can be. Right, right. But she was cool. We was cool with her. She wasn't acting like a hoe. Well, kind of. But you could tell she had an all right spirit. She was cool. Yeah, she was cool. So we ain't gonna treat all these bitches like shit. There's most of them. Whoso regardeth dreams is like him that catches at a shadow and falleth out of the wind. You walking up on me? <laughs> you got something on his shirt. Look like a shit stain. <laughs> oh, he's coming to brown. <laughs> it's brown. He got something brown on his shirt. Let's get the floor. 
Who you want to do? Uh, Ciroc 34. And of, of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? And from that thing which is false, what truth can come? Right. Already, yeah, what kind of truth is going to come out one of these assholes out here? None. What truth is going to come out of uh, uh, the mouth of an adulterous woman? None. What kind of truth is going to come out of the mouth of a faggot? None. No. None. So we ain't trying to hear nothing these fools got to say, man. That's why you don't see a whole lot of people even uh, coming up against us. They ain't nobody got nothing to say no more to it. No. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh. Dude, dude. Ray Charles, yeah. take your clothes out today. <laughs> man, come on, man. Look in the mirror, man. Man. You actually walked out the house, bro. <laughs> what the fuck was he wearing? <laughs> he said a Ray Charles. Ray Charles is wearing some better. Ray Charles is blind. He can see better than that. <laughs> These motherfuckers just throwing everything, man. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> hey, that's what they promote though. The weird, it's just weirdoism. Yeah, yeah. Everything's about now is about being a weirdo. How weird can you be? You know what I mean? That's like the fashion. It's being a fucking weirdo. It's just a, a goddamn weirdo. And these bitches like that weird shit too, oh, don't they? Fuck yeah. Like the weirder you are, you can have now it's popular. A lot of the men I see like I seen over 20 of them walk by today. They got the big ass earrings, like the Africans. Gauges. Oh, yeah, what they call them, gauges? Yeah, they got the big ass. Who the hell would do that to your ear? They got big ass black discs. Remember your dude shrapnel, his shit ripped through, and then he had elf ears. Yeah, he kind of got elongated earlobes. Look, and your shit. bitch is wrapping it up. Yeah, my dude at the flea market. I be going out to the flea market sometimes, and this one dude is always a. Uh, Looking for it. I sell the video games if I can. I ain't got shit no more. He's always trying to see what I got. He got elongated earlobes. These motherfuckers hang down the ears. Damn. I mean, they're stretched. He's all tattooed up, got false teeth. He got it. <laughs> piercings in his eyebrows, piercing in his. And he's a cool dude, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she she good now. She got paid. She about to go get some dope. She Shoot be, up. She go. 